Hello, my name is Benjamin Hart. I'm an American attorney and the managing director of Integrity Legal here in Bangkok, Thailand. As the title of this video suggests, we're discussing U.S. tourist visa denial. Now, this is a topic most folks don't really like to discuss, but I'm going to bring it up mostly in the context of the girlfriend, fiance, or spouse of an American citizen, albeit this could happen in other contexts as well. I'm going to concentrate on this mostly because the focus of our channel tends to focus on fiance and marriage-based visas from Cambodia. And so therefore, we're going to go ahead and do this video looking at it from that standpoint. So I get calls frequently from folks who have previously applied for a U.S. tourist visa and oftentimes especially the American citizen is rather nonplussed because the applicant, usually their Cambodian girlfriend, sometimes boyfriend or spouse, husband or wife, basically they went into the interview, they did all the application process, including things like the DS-160, and they went to the interview and the officer asked them virtually nothing. Or sometimes they ask them just a couple of questions and then, sub and then just basically deny it, sort of deny it summarily. And the reason for this is what's called Section 214B of the Immigration and Nationality Act. And 214B basically states that those who are applying for a tourist visa to the United States, or any non-immigrant visa for that matter, with some exceptions, there are certain dual intent visas that you can, this analysis doesn't necessarily apply to. But for example, the, in cases involving tourist visas, 214B basically creates an analysis wherein the adjudicating officer needs to be comfortable and needs to believe that the applicant has strong ties to their home country or a third country outside the United States and weak ties to the United States. So in this case, generally speaking, where there is a significant other, who it be that a boyfriend, girlfriend, spouse, husband, wife, fiance, who is an American citizen, that's automatically going to mitigate, going to sort of augur against an approval because that person could, in theory, sponsor that individual for immigrant visa benefits in the, once that person is in the United States. So in a sense, it's kind of almost a fraud prevention measure to keep people from coming into the United States by subterfuge, utilizing a U.S. tourist visa, and then using that U.S. tourist visa as a platform to gain immigrant visa benefits or immigrant status, lawful permanent resident status. So the thing to take away from this video is denial does occur, especially pursuant to Section 214B. It may not be the end of the road. There may be, you know, if it's, if it's a situation where the couple intends to marry, a K-1 visa may be used. Or if it's, a, if it's a situation where the couple already is married or just says, you know what, let's go ahead and get married, it may be possible to obtain a CR1 visa, an IR1 visa, or a K3 visa in order to get that Khmer National into the United States in marriage visa status in order to stay there. So denial is, may not necessarily be the end of the road. Now that being said, it is always wise to tell the truth on these applications. So if you're watching this video and you haven't applied yet and you genuinely intend to bring a fiance to the United States for marriage, the tourist visa is not the visa to use. It's a good idea to utilize the K-1 fiance visa for those purposes. And we have other videos on this channel on this topic. Generally speaking, I think it's a good idea for K-1 fiance visa seekers also to seek legal assistance as the process can be rather cumbersome, especially in light of recent regulatory uh, changes under the Trump administration.